All right, everyone, welcome back to Blue Belly Gaming Channel. Here we are with our San Antonio Stallion save where I'm teaching you how to set up your expansion team. We just got our 30 man roster here, uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of players we still need to fill in. Uh, if you're not familiar with the process, you want to go up here to your manager, go to GM Manager Actions, sign a free agent. And then when you get in here, you'll notice there are a lot of players. Uh, I sorted by age and uh, by potential, but there will be some older players with some high demand. If you're filling in your minors, you obviously don't want to be doing that. So, you know, get it all set up. We'll go with, with this guy and we'll say we want to offer a contract. And, okay, you know, you can sort out your terms here, but we're just going to meet his demand. We're going to submit his offer. And he'll be super thrilled to come join our up-and-coming team. So keep doing that until you fill out uh, several roster spots. Uh, you'll eventually have the first-year player draft in a few months, which will allow you to fill in more of the lower minors. But for right now, that's a way to, to get the upper minor league teams going. But I, the main thing I wanted to show you in this video is how to get, you know, your customized logo action happening. So we're actually going to hop over to a website uh, called canva.com. This is free. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. I'm not, I'm not connected to them at all. So you click on blank and then you're left with this blank canvas. So we're going to go with text. We're going to add a heading. I'm just going to go with the letter S. You can make this as complicated or as simple as you'd like. Um, this is not super flowery, so you know you can look and choose one of these fonts that you like. And uh, the ones with the little crown mean that they're premium, so you might not want to do that uh, if you are trying to do this free. But uh, I like this one, so I'm going to say uh, let's go with this. Now you could also go to elements and search there. You can use the search and search for all sorts of things. Uh, maybe you want to go with this horse and you know, you want to change the color of the horse and make it like that and put it behind the S and ta-da, you like that logo? Maybe, maybe that's what you like. Uh, not for me. You know, feel free to fiddle around with that. What I'm going to do actually is copy and paste a second letter S, and the second one I'm going to make yellow or whatever we're calling this, gold maybe. And we're going to change this. We're going to call this gold stallion just so that our save uh, is something we can remember gold stallion. And then I'm going to download this file right here. Download the file. So it's going to come in as Gold Stallion. Now we're going to go to another website, also free, remove.bg. Maybe you've used this before. And we're just going to drag Gold Stallion up here, and it is going to remove that background for us. So now we want to download the logo with the removed background. So now it's going to be gold stallion dash removed. Now that's important because we're going to have to find this in our downloads folder here in a second. So the first thing we want to do is go to that downloads folder. For me, gold stallion is above the, the remove. So we want to copy. So I'm going to control C that remove. Now we want to go over to our game. We're going to go to the home screen. And we're going to come over here to settings. And this is where you can change all this fun information about your team. You can change your owner's name and how cool they are. There's all sorts of things that you can change down here. Uh, tweak the name of your ballpark and size, capacity which, you know, those things can have real ramifications. So I don't say that to be dismissive. If you decide you want to have a ballpark with more capacity, that, that can influence your playthrough. Uh, but we are concerned with this right here, this modify. So as you can see, the team already has this kind of black and tan look with this scrunched up S. 
So you could keep that. You could uh, generate a random one. But what we're going to go with is this, uh, this select. And then when we select, it is going to uh, it's going to default to this right here, this menu right here that has a bunch of sub folders and then some random PNGs down at the bottom. We want to go obviously to logos. Now, if you remember, we had con we had done Control C on the file, so now when we get here. Um, no, nope, I'm sorry. We need to do this in file. <laughs> Before we can do it in the game, we have to do it in the file manager. So we did our control C here, and you have to follow from the game this file path. The Steam, Steam apps, common, out of the park baseball 22, data, and logos. You need to make sure that you drop it in here so that we can find it in here. So we're going to go back to our file manager here. This will look a little different for every person playing, right? Uh, but what you want to do is go to, you know, wherever your file path is. For me, that's under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Out of the Park, Data. And then here's where the important part, you need to make sure you drop it into Logos. So then over here, you can just right click and paste, boom. There it is, we can see it there at the bottom. Uh, well, it's, it's in alphabetical order, but this gold stallion with the remove. We know that it's the removed one. So we can close out of that, come back to our game. Now we wanna make sure that we get into the logos folder. Remember we called it gold stallion. So we gotta come down here and we should see gold stallion with the remove. Make sure it's your one that has the remove because otherwise you'll have a black, uh, white background. So we'll click load and there it is. And now we can see our S on the black hat. Now since I did that little slight black outline, maybe I don't want a black hat. So maybe we change the hat to white. Uh, that might look obnoxious, but you might be worried that it didn't change right away, but we'll have to click refresh. Just give me one second. We're gonna we're gonna yellow this up a little a little bit to be closer to our existing. That's a little orange for my taste. Let's see if we can get it to be a little more, a little more gold. Anyways, you can tweak this all day. Uh, if you want to make it faster on yourself, you can type in this code again. Uh, I'll probably just, I'll probably just, oh boy, that's pretty green there. I'll probably just, you know, guesstimate. Anyways, once you get pretty close to what you want it to, to be, you can tweak these other jerseys and whatnot, but then you want to click refresh. See, now we can see the S there. Uh, maybe in hindsight, we would have done a different, uh, a different thing, but this gives you a good basis for your team. Uh, with our S, we click OK. And now it actually changes the menu color based on what your main color is. So if you strongly don't like yellow, don't do what I just did. Uh, you might want to tweak that. But this is how to get your custom logo into the game. You can do this as deep as you want. You could do this for all of your minor league teams if you want. And the next episode I'm going to show you a little bit more about filling in those uh, and making sure that those teams are in logical that, that your minor leagues are set up properly. Thanks so much for watching this episode and hopefully you enjoyed learning how to make a logo for your expansion team.